It's a bit windy this August afternoon in the Isis Milling District. Graham Zunker and his son Greg are preparing a block for planting on their Alloway cane farm. Graham is using GPS technology to guide an in-furrow switch plough through the plant zone. And Greg follows in a second tractor working a rotary hoe. This block has been reconfigured to suit a new low pressure overhead irrigation system. It's one of the final stages in a five year all of farm project to reduce energy consumption and make more efficient use of crop irrigation. At the heart of the water use efficiency project is a new valley low pressure lateral move overhead irrigator. 250 metres long, the lateral system irrigates 101 hectares or 220 acres. It's much faster and more energy efficient than a water winch. The senior of the three generations working on this family farm, Graham Zunker, has seen many irrigation systems come and go. But this, he says, is a big step forward. Back in the olden days, well, you never thought this would ever happen. You know, it was just a, it would have been a dream to think that you can, something will walk along like this and, uh, and irrigate your farm without even steering it. And all. But now there's something else that's come onto the market, like these lateral moves, which I, I reckon they're the, the bee's knees, you know. If anyone can afford one, I reckon you should have it. Technology has, has come a long way today, and I think if you don't keep up with technology, you'll get left behind, because uh, that's what it's all about today. Like many a great plan, this one started at the family dinner table using some old school trigonometry. Greg and Graham also did their sums on which type of irrigator would best suit their farm layout and crunched the numbers on the savings they could achieve using a more energy efficient irrigation system. With two farms side by side in a mostly rectangular shape, the search was on for a system that could water the entire home farm and then be capable of shifting to the neighbouring property which the Zunker family leases. Back in 2010, we were trying to work out what to do for a better irrigation system besides going to trickle and avoiding getting away from water winching. Uh, we firstly started to think about a centre pivot but it was only going to do a three quarter circle and then that wasn't and then we're missing the corners as well. Then the lateral irrigators were around which I was keeping an eye on those as well. We worked out our farm is 500 metres wide well, the two farms is 500 metres wide, which a 250 metre lateral uh, will work fine with our farm practice, which will get the corners and it will water the whole farm. Installing a larger fixed centre pivot irrigator would have required an upgrade in pumping infrastructure, while still not being able to irrigate the entire farm. A lateral system with a steerable cart turned out to be an ideal solution. The centre pivot, it worked, but it wasn't, wouldn't work as well as this. Uh, we would have missed the corners. Uh, it would have been a nine span lateral and we'd have to run two, two electric pumps to, for the service, the water to it. And we'd, we'd try and avoid you know, running another pump. So we are running one pump with this one which waters the whole lot. That's the only reason we went away from a centre pivot because it's still labour intense just to water the corners. You know, you still have been there shuffling winches around, winding hoses and messing around, which this is, it does the corners. Uh, it does everything for us. Switching over to more efficient irrigation technology isn't as easy as simply buying a new overhead irrigator. With the help of GPS technology, blocks are being reconfigured over the five-year crop cycle to suit the lateral irrigator. The old winch tracks are being removed, adding nearly two hectares to the area under cane. And the new longer rows make it more cost-effective and energy efficient to work the blocks with machinery. Planning it with the GPS made it a lot easier for measurements to get it exact, you know, pinpointing everything to the right areas, the length and where the end, end of it's going to be. You know, it just misses my house by a metre. You know, a few trees had to be trimmed, but um, it, it bypasses all those. And just working out the spans, uh, we've suited our cane rows to suit in between the spans, the wheels, so it's not run down a cane row. On a day like today, it's easy to see why the Zunkers made the switch from water winch irrigation to a low pressure overhead system. 
In windy conditions, winches struggle with spray drift, meaning uneven watering of the crop and a greater potential for nutrient runoff and reduced productivity. The capacity of the lateral system to get around the farm faster and water more gently and evenly is helping maintain readily available moisture in the soil, reducing crop stress and boosting tonnage. My father's always noticed when it rains, the rain covers a big area and it takes a lot longer for that ground to dry out. This is water in a big area and the moisture seems to stay longer in the ground covering that bigger area than doing a winter run, which is just water in a little section, then it's dry beside. It's, it, there's something going on there we've noticed. And, and the ground was staying wet a lot longer with this weather. We're distributing the water out evenly all the way across the block, um, which the water winch will be just dumping here, there and missing a fair bit. And, you know, it's wetter in closer to the, to the winch if you haven't got the ends ran far enough to keep that even even spray water on a winch, but this is, you know, it, it distributes the water out very evenly. At the same time, the lateral system is delivering massive energy savings, and that's a big relief given the rising cost of electricity. Cutting down on electricity use not only helps the bottom line, it also benefits the environment. You've got a pump running for 16 hours, that's just doing a water winch run, um, which means it's only going to put out one megalitre, you know, and that's 16 hour run with this lateral. Just by pumping the volume, we've, I've put 3.2 3 megalitres of water out through it and it's watered 30 acres in, in one pass in a 16 hour run, which is just, you know, over double the a water inch run by the electricity usage. This farm alone, it had nine winch runs, I think, nine to 11 winch runs on it. And that was irrigating every day when it was at its peak for irrigation. Plus this farm and the existing farm, what this lateral does as well, there's another eight runs on another farm, so that was another you know, job there as well, every day, being there shipping two irrigators. This is doing all of that now. No need for the tractor to be down the farm. I've got waiting hoses for it, as soon as it's through, the next hose is hooked up to it for the next run. At a time when electricity prices are putting the squeeze on irrigators, the shift to lateral move irrigation is making a major difference to on-farm economics. It's all about the reduced pressure needed to operate a lateral irrigator when compared with a water winch. To run a winch, you, you've got to have at least 110, 120 PSI at the pump. Uh, time it travels through a six inch main, through a four inch hose, and gets to the nozzle of the gun, it's, it's, it's dropped, you know, probably 30 PSI, so you put about uh, 95 to 100 PSI at the gun. There's a lot of energy burn up there with the pump running for that little volume of water, what it's putting out which at the moment with this, we're still running the four inch hose, which we've got 90 PSI at the pump, um, running through 10 chain of four inch hose. Uh, time it gets to the, to the cart up the mast, it's around 16 PSI, 15, 16 up the mast on the gauge. And that's more than enough for the nozzles to be working because uh, they're regulated at a 15 PSI outlet. Another feature of the lateral irrigator is its ease of operation. To change the irrigator's alignment, Greg simply flicks a few switches on a control panel. The entire process takes minutes. For turning the wheels, uh, so wheel alignment, uh, that'll be on. I'll select the first wheel motor and I'll operate it with this here, forward and backwards, to turn the wheel. Using a handheld controller, the cart's wheels are then turned to a 45 degree angle allowing it to complete a semicircle. I have an arm in here with a pin which locks that in that position there and that's where it'll stay. And I'll do that to the, the other three wheels. Um, then I'll put it in pivot mode and it'll do a half circle. To uh, put the wheel back where it's in, in a line, just unpull that pin I just put in there and then just reverse it back around and it'll lock in its position again. Having spent a lifetime working with labour-intensive irrigation methods, Graham Zunker sees the labour saving and the speed of lateral move irrigation as two of its biggest benefits. Labour-wise, for one man to go around and shift five water winches in a day, that's, it, it takes about an hour to shift the winch and uh, get, let the water run out of it. Something's only got to go wrong and uh, you slip behind and once you slip behind, it's hard to catch up, but this thing covers a bit, as much as those five water 
water winches are doing, or three water winches are doing, and, and that's, that's the best thing of it all, that uh, you're covering a bigger area with less cost and, and maintenance. It's just uh, it's the biggest labour saver on, on watering compared to water winches, if you've got to shift a few of them a day, yeah. From planting legume crops on fallow land to embracing new irrigation technology, the Zunker family takes pride in being one of the Queensland sugar industry's early adopters. And their advice to fellow cane growers is to embrace new technology. Innovations like lateral move overhead irrigation that are improving water use efficiency and benefiting the environment.